Awesome. Thank you, Eric. I appreciate it. Harry Chick, we're here with sports. Well, thankfully, we don't have the rain from Wimbledon here in New York today for the 4th of July weekend. Coming up, we have a major upset, though, at the All England Club today. Some are calling it one of the biggest upsets in tennis history as Novak Djokovic is stunned at Wimbledon by an American. We'll hear from the man who pulled it off. That's next when News for New York at 6 continues. Fios is not cable. We're wired differently. It's 4th of July weekend, and we start with a great American story at Wimbledon. Sam Querrey knocking off world number one Novak Djokovic today, ending Novak's quest for a complete Grand Slam this season. Querrey, he was on fire, capturing the first two sets on Friday, but rain suspended play until this morning, and there would be three more rain delays this afternoon. Query was able to beat the elements. He lost the third set, but rebounded to Aus Djokovic. 7-6, 6-1. 3676 Query had 31 aces and he moves on to the round of 16. The loss snaps Djokovic's 30 match win streak in Grand Slam events, which ranks third all time. Query becomes the first American to beat Novak at a Grand Slam event since Andy Roddick did that back in 2009. It's incredible, especially to do it here at Wimbledon, you know, the biggest tournament in the world. And I'm just so ecstatic right now and so happy. And, um, you know, that's about it. Great win for Sam. As for the Mets, they host the Cubs tonight in game three of their four game series in Queens. And despite struggling in recent weeks, the Mets have come alive offensively in this series. Last night, the Amazons looked more like the team that swept the Cubs in last year's National League Championship Series. The Mets hit five home runs at City Field for the first time since 2000. James Loney and Asdruber Cabrera hit back to back homers. Rookie Brandon Nimmo got his first career homer. And that was a three-run blast to right. Yoenis Cespedes and Cabrera each homered in the fifth inning as the Mets hold on for a 10-2 victory. Tonight, it's Bartolo Colon on the mound against Chicago ace Jake Arrieta. The Yankees are in San Diego for game two against the Padres after back-to-back -back walk-off wins against the Rangers. The pinstripes almost found magic again last night, trailing by five runs. Going into the ninth inning, the Bombers storm back with four quick runs, cutting the deficit to one, but with two outs and the tying run on third, it's Brett Gardner, the veteran, grounding out and the rally falls just short. The Padres hold on for the 7-6 victory. Ivan Nova gets the start for the Yankees tonight. And it is the second day of NBA free agency. After reaching a deal with center Joe Kim Noah, the Knicks are now in the market for a shooting guard. The team has reportedly reached out to Courtney Lee and Eric Gordon. And there is also word that Dwayne Wade could meet with the Knicks next week. And today in Orlando, the Knicks opened up summer league play against the Pistons. New head coach Jeff Horn a sec on hand alongside the big man Chris Stapps Porzingis and there wasn't much for either to smile about during today's opener. The Knicks had more turnovers than field goals in the first half and they could never really find any offense. New York falling today 81 49 the final but listen it's only summer league play so nothing to worry about they're just getting ready. Long way to go. Long way to go. All right Harry thank you very much. We'll be back right after this.